November is National Native American Heritage Month when we recognize the past and the present of Native American culture. But Jamil Donath, Donath explains how much is still misunderstood about Native American heritage, Native American which is still very much alive in the U.S. and right here in the Northwoods. Native American heritage is celebrated every day in tribes like Red Lake and Leech Lake. But for the rest of us, National Native American Heritage Month is a reminder that Native heritage is not just history. Native Americans are not just something from ancient history, but we're alive today. We have thriving languages and cultures today. I think some people think we did disappear at some historical spot in time even though we're right here. And recent media mishaps like a Victoria's Secret model in a headdress or no doubt provocative Cowboys and Indians themed music video have shown us that we still have a long way to go in learning to respect Native American culture. We are often imagined but infrequently well understood. Here in the Bemidji area, Ojibwe signage projects as well as other language revitalization programs are helping to bridge cultural barriers as well as helping Native youth to stay in touch with their tribe's traditions. Some people are realizing Indian people have a language too. And some people are learning it. And uh, I like that. Red Lake uh, elder Eugene Stilde grew up in a traditional home, Ojibwe home country, and didn't realize so how important language was until he enlisted in the Navy. If you don't know your language, you know, you lose your culture. Yeah, and culture is based on language. Anywhere. In its 10th year running, the Ojibwe Language Immersion School at the Buganagishig School in Cass Lake begins teaching Ojibwe in kindergarten. What we want to do is we want to place it in today's world. There, that's the only way to keep it viable and to keep it living. While Native American heritage thrives in modern culture, historians say we must not forget the past either. For anyone of any race going to school in the United States, it means getting a sugar-coated version of Christopher Columbus and the first Thanksgiving and very few other opportunities to learn more and more deeply about the first people of the land. And Native American Heritage Month is just the beginning of that conversation. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. Native American Heritage Month started as American Indian Day back in 1915. It wasn't until 1990 that President George H.W. Bush designated November as National American Indian Heritage Month. Interesting stuff. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.